Hello everyone in this video let us take a look at uh, this interesting question asked on the community recently about uh, making the issue link uh, mandatory based on uh, role of a user. So this question um, was asked by strings on fire. Uh, it's a nice name. <laughs> anyway, so this question is all about how can I prevent users from deleting issue links, uh, permissions, uh, script runner, etc. So basically, uh, this user uh, is trying to understand how we can uh, avoid this uh, link, th this deleting of uh, issue links, uh, but not from creating issue links. So this this is uh, slightly different um, because. Uh, I already responded to uh, to this uh, user based on how to create the how to how to stop users from creating the issue links. So I will respond to him that uh, you can also first of all, if you want to do it uh, on the issue creation, let us say uh, when you are looking at your issues uh, and when you create a issue, when you have a create issue screen. You can still make your uh, linked issue as a mandatory or read only. Uh, so you can do it very easily with the help of uh, behavior in a script runner. So you have the, the option here to make it as a read only. And right now I'm doing this on a project called as dev. And when you make it as read only, I mean, we, we are doing it without writing a piece of code. You can also add some further conditions like uh, uh, when behavior will happen if condition is true so basically you can have a condition like uh, current user is in a group uh, like or maybe uh, maybe a role so this is something that you can do and if i show you how it looks like uh, when you create the issue let us say if you click on the create button on top you can see here that uh, you have this linked issue as a uh, of course, uh, read only. The problem here is that you can still users can still use the plus sign here. So when you click on the plus sign, uh, you have this new window, or it could be a pop up where they can select the issue they want to link so they can still link it. But what I would do, I would also make this plus sign as hidden. So you can basically use a script fragment here to insert a CSS and also hide it visually. But if you let us say raise a new issue, let us say uh, this is a new task. And uh, let us say if we link it uh, to maybe few issues, let us say dev seven or whatever, I can create uh, I can create this, uh, this issue. And uh, this is of course, I'm doing it uh, because I want to see if uh, I can uh, take a look at the linked issues while, while I'm uh, looking at uh, this issue links. Now, behaviors only work on the create or uh, edit uh, screen. And uh, right now at this stage, uh, I can definitely hide this particular cross button, I believe, if I look at the inspect element. So I'm just trying to see if uh, I can also hide it. So let us take a look at the. So I believe there is a there is a there is a there is a sign here. I believe I'm just trying to figure it out. Where is that particular? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to identify the ID of this. So I think this is the ID, like uh, something like cross. And if I try to add uh, maybe some code here to display to make it display none. So the cross will not even appear. So yes, now we can somehow remove it. So this is using uh, for CSS and for inserting the CSS, you can uh, use a script fragment. Let me also show you how it works. Uh, so if I had, if I take a look at script fragment, I can uh, definitely use it to insert CSS and we have talked about how to insert CSS before for doing wonderful things. So if I want to maybe insert uh, a web resource, I can do that with the help of uh, 
this uh, interface I, I need to provide the context and I need to provide the uh, resource uh, path where uh, it, it would be a script so you can take a look at my other video so when it comes to customizing the UI you can do few things I mean uh, when you're using uh, behavior it will work on the create or edit uh, screens only it won't really work on the view screen but when you're on the view screen you can either uh, use CSS you can inject CSS or you can uh, uh, basically inject JavaScript as well so these are two different possibilities and you can watch my other video where I talked about inserting uh, CSS and I believe if you're good in JavaScripting you can also uh, try to, ins to try to inject uh, JavaScript on that particular page so when it comes to hiding the issue links uh, yeah we do have some some capabilities and uh, and uh, we can definitely hide it uh, uh, also on the view screen if uh, you experiment a bit with the uh, script fragments so this is all i wanted to share in this uh, video i hope you enjoyed and you learned something today thank you very much